loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sin. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Uh, um, we've come to know love. Uh, God is love. Son, don't go to sleep while I'm talking. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, don't, don't you lay your head back. I, I'm, I'm important. I'm somebody. Now you might do your English teacher that way, but I'm not teaching English. I'm teaching eternal life here. I love you. You know I love you. Have I convinced you I love you? Uh, yeah. You better, say, you better nod your head. Yes, yeah, sorry. You say, well, he may never come back. Well, he ain't here now. And where have you been, Mr. Underwood? And I noticed on the calendar I'm supposed to marry y'all. What makes you think I'd marry you? You're one of the sorriest church members I have. You're not worth 15 cents. And uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons. And he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. And I walked over to him and I went, bam. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him, and I said, I leaned over and I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? I led that man to the Lord right there, and uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons, and he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth, and I walked over to him, and I went, bam. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. And I said, I leaned over and I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? I led that man to the Lord right there. Come to come when the sky is cracked and Jesus Christ comes again and every eye will see him when he come again. So here's our question for you this morning, brothers and sisters. The simple question is this right here. Are you ready? Are you ready for his return? Amen. <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for his return? of the devil stealing if you're tired of the devil killing if you're tired of the devil destroying your life you must order the personal pack packers and you got to order it right now the word of god is his sperm you know if you put jesus christ first that he'll look after all your bills my crew is big and it keeps getting bigger that's because jesus christ is my nigga we propelled birds propel eagles don't propel we said hook up hook up hook up widespread revelation what he was saying there was no widespread pregnancies taking place because most of the preaching was giving dead sperm and dead sperm can't impregnate nothing and so the devil said okay it's a deal the word offense in the greek is scandalon and it refers to the bait of a trap this is an old texas rat trap and uh, i've smashed many a finger on this thing trying to show this message and when you put the bait on this trigger, that trigger is called the scandalon. That's the offense. And if you reach for the offense to be offended because you are, uh, uh, an animal reaches for it to eat it, but a Christian reaches for the offense because he's hurt. <laughs> is healing you. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, my God. Those of you that have guns, please do not send them to us. Go to your local dealer. It is against the law. For, we have checked into it for us to receive these types of things. So go to your local gun dealer, turn them in, send us the cash. Take a deep breath. And receive you the peace. Oh, yes. Ooh, did you feel that, Elaine? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did too. Take another deep breath and receive the peace. We cut out. Oh, no, 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 no,
I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to other brethren, fellow believers of this truth, and Shalom to the elect. Okay, anyway, this video was inspired through uh, the brother that sends me videos or clips of um, this flying man, which I actually did a video on that a couple of years back, but it sparked the spirit of me going further and going bringing the other clips uh, showing Christianity and uh, the big deception and the lies, you know, that we must evaluate. <clears throat> now, um, you also have uh, haters of what we teach, and they do multiple videos on One West, but it doesn't seem to be videos on this. Um, there was a clip sent to me um, about a woman who got knocked out by the pastor, you know. So they want to try to keep, like when you look at the beginning of the, the videos, those clips in the beginning, it had a kind of like a manly feel to it, but they're in the spirit of love and peace. They're not in the spirit of correction. Because honestly, when you're in a congregation like that, you know, you shouldn't have phones and, you know, everybody running back and forth, the women and the children crying and, you know. That's why Paul said, let the woman learn home in silence. You know, so this wouldn't happen. But these preachers tend to establish their own righteousness. And my question is, with all these preachers and pastors and uh, in tune with all this wicked, evil behavior, why isn't anybody doing multiple videos? And I know there's some that do, but the ones that should be held accountable and talking about what we teach, I've never seen anything in a Hebrew Israelite group behave like that. Now, the minute someone kills somebody who happens to be a Hebrew Israelite, all of a sudden he's a black Hebrew Israelite who kills somebody. But I can also put a hundred clips in here of Christians who have committed suicide and <laughs> killed their whole family, right? And shot up, you know, that's the, the terror of the Lord. And shot up the congregation. All kinds of adultery. But nope, no videos on that. You would think that they would try to straighten out their own sect, so to speak, of Christianity. But what it boils down to is there's paid hired agents Strictly to come at us. You know, back in the day when you was in trouble, right? Because I know when you was in trouble. And let's say you had a gun charge or you had a drug charge. The task force was only after the gun charge. That's what they focus on. The drug task force, the DEA was after the, um, the drug charges, right? So they focused on that one particular thing. And this is how agency work. And this is why we see these guys that are set up to come against Hebrew Israelites, they are on a task force, right? They're on a task force. They're not concerned with other Christi Christianity. They're only concerned with Hebrew Israelites and Islam. Anyway, let me get a scripture real quick. Nahum 3 and 1, which we all know this, at least most of us. Woe to the bloody city is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Right, so we look up this word robbery, it goes to plunder. When you look up plunder, it means to take the goods of by force. Pillage, to sack, to take by force or wrongfully steal, loot. They wrongfully stole our heritage. They wrongfully forced us into Christianity until a period of time that we started converting because our whole family was converted into that doctrine because we are a religious people and they know that. But when we came here, we spoke multiple languages, and they said that we must uh, we must uh, cure these heathens and heal them and make them slaves. The abolitionists too, and then they take credit the so-called abolishing slavery. Right. Once the slaves was broken, once you had a broken people who converted, the slave mind is worse than the physical mind. Right, The spiritual mind is worse than the physical. The yoke of iron that's on us now as a people 
is worse than the yoke of iron that was on us in captivity when we came into slavery. They stole us, a commit robbery or looting. They stole us from another land, put us on ships, named after uh, through Roman Catholicism, brought us over here in the name of Jesus the Christ. And they still got us calling Jesus the Christ. So this is why, well, you got Israelites groups who does that too, which they're completely off. But this is why it's getting boring, right? The Most High has now took the spirit out of the church. It's getting old. It's getting boring. They got flying men, right? They got punching pastors. They got cursing out pastors. They got all kind of gimmicks and speaking in tongues to get money. They got all kind of adultery. You name it, it's in those churches. So we must evaluate, right? What that means is um, back and back from back to the original place. Again, the new. How is this going to happen when the Most High and Hebrews 8 bring back the children of Israel, starting with the elect, and will be uh, re-evaluated and brought back to its right, rightful Christianity, so to speak. The rightful one, not this wicked plantation, you know, plantationism. Christi if Christianity was so righteous, why did they rip the pages out of the book and make us slaves, right? Now, if you want to restore a people back, you got to tell them what they did wrong and give them back what they had. But you know what you gave them? You gave them white Jesus. That's what you did. It says to redeem, to re redundant. it, redundant. Let's go to Jeremiah 4.22. Um, Jeremiah 4.22. My people are foolish. It's foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, which means habitually drunken all over the place, right? Sot, which comes from the word sot. And you know, you know, sot, like um, drunken and dirty. Uh, it says, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So I went to another translation. It says, they are skilled in doing evil. Right? They have not known, they do not know how to do good. This is why you got a lot of people who say, damn, I hate those Israelites. Because they were skilled in drug dealing, skilled in shooting and killing. Well, they're not skilled in that, but they're skilled in, in, in evilness. They're skilled in adultery. Right? They're skilled in hating their so called brother, hating their mother, their, uh, their father, their mother, their siblings. And mainly they hate the Lord. They hate Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. They are very skilled in that. Psalms 53, um, 53 and 4. Psalms 53 and 4. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon the Lord. And this is actually be Israelites because Edom is not calling upon the Lord. Right, let's go to uh, 53 and 3. This, this, all this is good. Every one of them that go back, they are all together become filthy. Right? There is none, uh, saith the Lord, uh, that do good. None, not one. Not, no, not one. That doeth good. Right? Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon the Lord, Yahweh. Right? There were uh, there were they in great fear, where no fear was, for Yahweh have scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame because Yahweh have despised them. Oh that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when Yahweh bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad proving that this is talking about the Israelites how do you fast forward to the New Testament and say it was two separate times but it has nothing to do with now right the Lord just decided to change his mind right so anyway I don't have much on it it's self explanatory in the intro to show you that if you are a Christian you're bugged the hell out and the Lord well we're thankful we're thankful that the Lord has at least woken us up 
And in order to do that, we had to be introduced to the Bible or Quran or wherever else we were at. But the Lord has uh, uh, has awakened us, you know, to the truth. And I, and I'm personally, and I know other brothers and sisters are per personally thankful for that. This is what we would be into if it wasn't for the truth, right? And we're thankful for our teachers through the Spirit of the Lord to have um, wake, woken us through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and men under us that we've gone to do the same thing. It's all a natural order, but it's it's thankful. The Spirit of Power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's all I have on that. Shalom.